Okay, we're ready to start uh, assembly here on the launch field. So first, I'm going to make my ejection charge canister for the electronics. So I've got a scale here, I've got a rubber glove, and I'll start by cutting a finger off. That's gonna be my ejection charge canister. Here I've got some black powder. Got a little rubber band for it. So now for this one, I need a half of a gram. Way too much. Always takes a little bit longer when there's wind. Got my little container. It has the black powder in it. I need my igniter. I've taped it to the side of the rocket, so. So as before, we'll stick it in. Stick it in all the way at the bottom. Kind of push it all the way down. I'm gonna take a rubber band. You could also take a piece of tape and wrap it around. Just make sure it's nice and tight so that ejection charge it surrounds the igniter. So I'm using a First Fire Mini E-Match. Okay, so there's my ejection charge. Okay, so I stripped the wire. And now I'm gonna put that through here. And bend it back here. And that goes into my Apogee charge, which is right there. So that's nice and tight. Okay, so this is gonna go, it's gonna lay right there. Okay, so now my igniter for the rocket motor is here. And as you can see, I've got some really long wires and that's probably at least two and a half feet and it might be too long. But as we said before, there's the little hole here, the tube, and we're gonna slide it through the tube. Okay, so it's coming out the bottom and I got plenty of length here, so that's good. So I got my rocket motor. It's got the uh, rubber band on it. And I'm just gonna slide it in and this is gonna get taped in. I always try to get the, the tape a little bit over the edge so that, you know, if you pull on it, it's not gonna come. It's got that little extra. So now this, I'm just gonna temporarily put that in here for right now. Run it all the way up to the top and that's where it's going to be. And this I'm just gonna put on here just for a second. I just want to measure, make sure my length of my wire is long enough, but not too long. So I can actually probably cut it right there. Okay, so before I hook it up, I'm gonna pull the igniter out of the bottom because we do not want to have any chance of igniting this. All right, so now, okay, so this is gonna go on the timer. Okay, so it's in the one. All right, so at this point we can hook up the battery. Give a little tug on them. Okay, so now I'm gonna hook that up and I'm going to turn on the electronics. I just wanna verify that I'm getting the lights on. Okay, uh, you can't see that because it's too bright, but I am getting the lights on, which means it's, that it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn that back off and then prep the rest of the rocket. So now we're going to get the parachute ready for the upper stage. So I gotta restart my cameras and we'll get doing that. Okay, we're going to set up the parachute in the upper stage. So first I need to just pull everything out of the front. Just pull it out so that I can get this together. Yeah, and I want to make sure that that's tucked in like right there. Okay, so I want to test this. And my zipper shield is a little bit short. So I need to slide it probably like a half of an inch towards the front. Okay, so now this is good. I got the zipper shield where it's coming out the front. So now I'm going to take my rivets and I'm going to put those into the holes. So that holds that on there nice and tight. All right, so now my shock cord is really long and I want to Z-fold it. And the purpose of Z-folding is to slow things down so that we don't put a lot of stress on things. So you can use tape or a rubber band. I'm gonna do this several times. Okay, so this is all Z-folded. It's gonna be stuffed inside. I'm gonna get my parachute, unwind it. I'll Z-fold this as well. 
and then I'm going to wrap my lines around it because I want it to slowly open. All right, so the upper stage is ready to go. So when I get to the pad, I'm going to use my igniter. I'll put this back in, but I don't want to do that until I get out to the pad. That's just for safety reasons. Everything's turned off. Here's the booster stage. So for this one, I didn't have a short delay motor. So I, the shortest delay I found is an F44. So it's a four second delay and you want to use a short delay in the booster. So this is, this is kind of like a big E, but it's a high thrust, but it will require a motor adapter. So this, these are the Estes motor adapters. And so you just drop them in there like that. And that goes into that. And again, I'm just going to put tape around the perimeter. And I usually do like several pieces so because it's easier to do several small pieces than one big piece. And then smash the tape down again so that it's kind of locking it in place. Okay, so just like that. Pull on it, check it, make sure it can't move. And then we'll pull this out. And again, we're going to do the Z-fold on this shock cord. Yeah, this parachute, just double check it, make sure it's not twisted. I'm gonna redo my lines here. I'm gonna get them all even. Again, we'll Z fold this. I'm gonna wrap these around. Same thing as before, we'll take our heat shield, lay it inside and wrap it up like a burrito. Make sure that there's no nylon showing and that's gonna go into the booster stage. One thing to do is you want to check to make sure that the friction fit on the bottom is more than the friction fit on the top. And so that if these happen to drag separate, what leaves first is this. So we don't want this to come out with this attached because then we're dragging this parachute and everything behind it. We want more friction on the bottom. So you can see I put some tape there to build up some friction so that if this is going to come out after this leaves this part of the rocket. So now we're ready to launch. All I got to do is put my igniters in and we'll take it to the pad. Okay, so we're ready to put it on the pad. Line up my uh, rail buttons here and I tilt the pad over. I'm going to launch straight up. All right, so I'll turn on my altimeter. Okay, that's turned on. Just double check here, make, make sure my igniter's in. So this igniter wire is uh, for my next launch. Let's save that. And I'll just hook this up here. All right, so everything is turned on and we're ready to launch. I got a little astro cam here, so I'm gonna turn that on. All right, that's turned on. It's ready to go. Two, one, launch. Two, one, launch. 